We're about to present a song off their current triple record album, which is called Sandinista. It's called The Magnificent Seven. Would you please join me in welcoming to our show, The Clash. Here they are. Get your car out of that gear. Don't you ever stop? How long enough to stop? Get your car out of that gear. To this awful place, I go merge, then you like a spoon. Let's get up, learn those rules. Where the man, crazy cheap. One says sun and one says sleep. AM the other, and the AM the AM two. Turn it out, that boogaloo loop. Gets you up, I gets you out. But how long can you keep it up? Give me Honda, give me Sony. So cheap and real money. Come on, give me a cent. English pound and Eskimo pain. Take my baby to sophistication Seeing the act, she makes your spice Better work hard, I've seen the price Never mind like that, it's time for the bus We got to work, you're one of us Cross goes slow, in a place of work And it's dragging the hours Jump! Bye-bye to the boss It's our profit, it's his loss But anyway, a lunch bell ring Take one out
introduce to you now the four young men who call themselves The Clash, Mr. Joe Strummer, Mr. Topper Hedon, Mr. Paul Simonon, and Mr. Mick Jones. Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Welcome. 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 In all the introductions that I did, I said that you prefer to be identified not so much as a rock and roll group, but as a news-giving group. Why? Well, I don't know. Maybe we just, uh, too many songs have been written about love already, you know? Subjects covered, you know? <laughs> what do you want to say about the news? I don't think you made a lot of friends with that move, but so be it. No, the news, um, the news is news, right? So it's not boring. I mean, it's what's happening now, you know? We like to plug into what's okay, happening now. Okay, what but what do you want to say about what's happening now? And again, in introducing you, and I've not met you before in my lifetime. We're basically commenting on it. I beg your pardon? Commenting, you understand? Yes, that I understand, but right. what kind of comment do you want to make? We're saying, isn't it terrible? <laughs> isn't it nice boring? Like, Basically. Is it like boring? boring yeah. Wait, put him down. Come on. Come on. Just come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's unfair. You make a match. Yeah, right. <laughs> Fair I... liberation, basically. <laughs> what yeah, is that? The comment. Saying, we're just saying life is boring. So we're trying to make it so interesting. We're to make it a bit more exciting. Okay. Let me ask you about the Bonds concerts. <laughs> we're in the middle of them. Okay. What happened down there? Do you know what happened uh, so that a lot of people had to wait to get in and the place supposedly was oversold? What did happen to the best of your knowledge? There? Well, as far as I, th I think, um, I think every club in New York jams in as many people as possible, mm -hmm. uh, well, anywhere in the world. And uh, the fire department, sometimes they come down, sometimes they don't, you know? And they happen to come down. I mean, uh, we kind of walked into the situation blind. You know, we've just been touring Europe. And we come straight here from Europe without a break. And we just thought, well, we got seven, you know, we sold out seven nights in, in this nightclub called Bonds. And the stand-up venue, mm -hmm. everything is cushy mushy But then uh, we arrive, and the fire department, the building department, they're all shutting the place down faster than we can open it, you know. But it's all right now, because we're here for the duration. I understand that, but many groups would say, look, we're going to play the seven performances, and then no matter what happened, no matter how many people have to stand and wait, we're going to go home. Right, let's go. Oh, no. <laughs> you you, yeah, you well, men did not do that. We don't want to poo-poo on the fans. You know, it's very important. Mm -hmm. that. See, if, since, <laughs> since they've bought tickets, right, mm -hmm. we feel it's our, our responsibility to honor it. Can I ask what you're putting on me? Uh, Nice clash bench. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Two rounds of the one base divide to the bench. Yeah. Very tough. No, what'd you just say? So we got a, a series of uh, stickers. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Now the and other one. one. Says, no. <laughs> Wave goodbye to the boss. We thought we'd given you that, but we haven't got it with us, so okay. we miss out this time. Right. What is your motivation, as I said again in introducing you, for selling records at discount prices or lower prices? Same, again, same as the same tickets. Same reason, but where do you get this motivation? Because a lot of groups, all they come into the business for is to make a lot we of money to and to hell with the... Right? Yeah, but we used to be fans. them. Right, and so you know. like, we haven't forgotten what it's like. All the other groups have forgotten what it was like. Because they're all too we know busy. that one day we will return and become nothing again. You know? <laughs> How do you make certain that you'll keep this attitude? Because I've had a lot of people come through here in the last eight years that say much the same as you're saying, and then the minute Have they make- Have you been here for eight years? Yeah, it's hard to believe the way I do it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, Joe. I've had them fool for a long time out here. Okay. No, when I, you know, so many people, they come into the business and they make their first million or two million, and they say, ah, oh, to hell with the fans. I'm gonna give up all this, uh, this, uh, this piety baloney and, and just go live in our castle in Spain somewhere and forget them. How are you gonna make sure that you keep your concern for working people and your concern for people who are oppressed. Well, I think it's, it is a struggle, you know, because it is a temptation sometimes when you've just done a gig and there's all people going, it's like cop out, yeah, know. sign this, or will you have a picture with my girlfriend, or come to my graduation party, mm -hmm. or... <laughs> <laughs> and you just sometimes you feel like going, oh, give me a break, you know. But I, I think it, 
it's up to your mind, really. How, you know, if you want to let your ego get out of control. You made the comment, Topper, that life was boring. I would dare say that none of you the are nice yet. People. Oh, all right, I would. I would dare say that none of you have yet. <laughs> Now don't do that, you. That's how I feel. <laughs> You'll hurt you. There, You'll kids. Hurt you. You'll hurt yourself. No copying Joe now, kids. <laughs> I would dare say that none of you are 25 years of age yet. I am. I am. Okay. Okay. All right. None of you are. Th oh. <laughs> but you're still very young in the grand scheme of things. How can you possibly be bored, and how can you even feel that life is boring? You haven't begun to live the half of it yet, and put the teddy bear back down. It doesn't make any picked It's up. like um. It's part of the enjoyment. All you these. Know, we got out, right? We got out, right? And what we try to do is we try to show other people that it's possible to get out, right? And we got out from very sticky wicket. I can tell you. It's something like a dead end situation with a, without a lot of, a, you know, no money for equipment and no sort of job or none of us could hold a job down. You know, really kind of a, no one with any money to, to start the whole thing rolling, you know. You've been described, or I think one of you has said you're a group that's unmanageable. Do you really feel that way about yourselves, that you're well, maybe unmanageable in the sense of being, forgive me, out of control? We have a manager. We have a manager. How's he doing? He's doing... He's, we've had him before he, as well. We've had him before. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went away for a while and came back, huh? He went, he went to the funny farm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Where life is beautiful all the time. <laughs> nice and happy. Fair is it true that your lifestyle is as described in the press releases, that you do not live fancifully when you're home, and that in many cases you uh, look for a place to park your body overnight, that you don't well, have no, uh, fancy you know, homes? Some of us are getting some flats, but it ain't exactly like the castle in Spain that you were talking of. You know? mm -hmm. It's more like a, a two-room basement He's flat. He's a squatter. You know what a squatter is? <laughs> yeah, that's somebody that comes into a place that does not belong to him and squats there overnight for yeah. as long as not the authorities. Not overnight. Overnight, forever. Over years. Oh, <laughs> Do you want that life for always, or do you look forward to the time? Well, it's just that, you know, I don't mind paying a fair rent, you know, mm -hmm. for a fair place. But uh, in London, uh, it's way over the top. Like, I think it's the same here in New York, yes. you know. It's way over the top. They agree, they agree, you know. Mm -hmm. the landlords are out of control, you know. I, I, I couldn't, you know, I'm in a, in a group, you know, and I've found it quite hard to, to rent a flat in London and keep up the payments, you know. And eventually I got evicted, uh, you know, which is why I keep returning to squatting, you know. I understand. Gentlemen, thank you for uh, being with us tonight, and I know you have another number for us a little bit later on in the show, but congratulations on your success, and I thank you. I know you've been very, very busy, and you're probably dog-tired from working here in New York. Put the bear down. <laughs> So thank you for coming by uh, to this little event tonight. I truly appreciate it, and I wish you the yeah. best. Thank you so much. All right, gentlemen, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mitch. Thank you very much. We will continue right after these announcements. We're about to present a song for us tonight that's being performed in public for the first time called Radio Clash. Ladies and gentlemen, The Clash. Yeah. Yeah.
Living room, kiss you a little 